were you before you got your CDL? Well, I'm going to start back when I was a senior in high school. I made a few bad choices and didn't take school seriously. So I didn't uh, I didn't graduate high school. Later on, I did get my GED, though. But uh, I ended up just sleeping on the couch at my mom's place and uh, not really doing anything with my life. So I uh, talked to my dad on the phone, and he was like, Hey, why don't you come over here and uh, visit, you know? I was like, all right, so I called a friend up. He took me down there, and I visited with my dad and my stepmom, and, you know, uh, he said, hey, why don't you spend the night? Or, you know, yeah, just spend the night. I was like, okay. So I uh, spent the night. My friend went home, and so the next morning, I... Uh, my, my dad said, hey, why don't you go down to the temp agency and see if you can get a job? I wasn't really looking for a job, but to appease him, I said, oh, okay. So he was on his way to work. He dropped me off at the temp agency. He said, well, I got to go to work. Um, you can walk home. We, do, we don't live far. You know, you, you can walk home. And so... I was like, okay, so went down there, filled out an application. I said, well, what kind of work are you looking for? I said, well, anything. And, you know, walked home, and lo and behold, the next morning, they woke me up with a phone call saying, hey, we got work for you. So they say, yeah, you got to you gotta have steel toe boots and, show up at this place at this time and uh, I was I stayed at that place for nine years almost ten years and so it was towards the end of 2016 I started at that place in 2007 it was towards the end of 2016 And after working there for nine, almost ten years, uh, the foreman at my job, he was basically the foreman and the night supervisor, you know, or day supervisor, excuse me. Um, He was working nights, but uh, it it switched and his whole uh, crew just, you know, switched over to days and... Anyways, so uh, he was actually shot and killed in Dallas after a Dallas Cowboys game. They went; he and his wife went to uh, on on their way home. He stopped by a gas station to fill up, and this dude that was on like what was it a three day crime spree? They couldn't catch him. He was just committing crimes, stealing cars, and he actually killed two people. Uh, my the foreman at my job being one of them, a oh, Welton Betts, and I'll, I'll leave the link to that video in the description. After he died, I think I was probably the first to go. Uh, I kept on making mistakes. Um, they already knew I wasn't really that good at the position that I was in. Instead of firing me, they could have moved me somewhere else. But I guess if they let somebody go, they can get somebody else. They can work like a machine, and that'll be one less person that they're paying. So, anyways, uh, during my time at Greenbrier Rail Services, I was driving for Uber and Lyft in Dallas. And after I was fired, I decided to try that full time. And I, uh, on my way out to Dallas, 
I applied one day at a call center called Teletech in Ennis, Texas. I got the job there and worked as a customer advocate for Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Thank you for choosing Blue Cross and Blue Shield. My name is Joseph. Can I get your customer ID, please? <laughs> yeah. So that was during the uh, Obama administration and the Affordable Care Act was making a lot of a lot of customers angry. <laughs> I dealt with that. Uh, so I worked for them, you know, 2016 into 2018 or 2017, 2016 into 2017. And I decided I was going to try to get my CDL. Um, I applied at Stevens Transport. And I'm glad I did not get my CDL through them. I just went through orientation. I did some CDL training. And it, it, it was my choice that I didn't get my CDL through them because they were taking way too long to get someone out there to test us all out. They were actually taking students to other states to test out. And what's kind of strange that they would do that it you know other states do things different different ways from texas you know it, it, almost every state is different in how they test out for your cdl so i i don't know everything was all backed up uh so i i just didn't come in one day and I haven't been there since <laughs> but the way that they were they treated their students I thought uh, that's the way every school is going to be you know they just they herd you around like cattle um, but as it turns out that's not the case not every company is like that but uh, I quit there and then I went to a Walgreens distribution center in Waxahachie, Texas. I worked there for about two weeks. It might have been a week and a half. I don't remember. Then I got a job at uh, somewhere closer to home, which it was in Corsicana where I live. I was there for maybe about four months, three months, something like that. And I quit there to go to somewhere else where they said that uh, they would help me get my CDL. Um, I don't know why they said that because they were only helping one person. He was one of the good old boys. They had already known him, and they they focused their energy on him getting his CDL. But I did drive uh, a dually work truck, and I helped them as a laborer installing guardrail on the side of highways. But no CDL, and it didn't seem like they had any intent on it. So... I quit there and went to Prime, and that's where I got my CDL. <laughs> and that that took uh, see orientation is one week, PSD is two weeks, and then the next week after that, yeah, it, it took me three weeks to get my CDL. Yeah, so. That's, uh, that's what happened before I got my CDL. Please hit like and subscribe. Comment if you want to. Share the video. Hey, if you want to make a video, make the video and then share the link in the comment section. I'd like to know where you were before you got your CDL. Hey, y'all take it easy. Be safe. Keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. Peace.
if you want to make a video, make the video and then share the link in the comments section. I'd like to know where you were before you got your CDL.